Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video and guys in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my personal tips and tricks for how to protect your computer from viruses because viruses on a PC are just not good for anybody. I don't know how viruses are even created or how they get on PCs, but nonetheless they are very bad for your computer and you do not want them on your computer whatsoever. So basically guys, I use two softwares for my computer that really do a great job of preventing viruses from getting on my PC. I have not had a legit virus on my PC for at least I'd say at least a year it's been a while since I've ever had a virus get on my computer and that's because of two applications that I use right here these are the two that I do use the first one is called C cleaner I think it actually comes with every single PC like Windows PC out there I think this is the default virus protecting software and it is really good I will show you what I use to actually like scan it and how I actually work it to make sure it does its best job of preventing viruses from getting on my computer and the second application I use is Malwarebytes right here if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this also comes with um, most PCs, like most windowed PCs. I'm not 100% sure on that, but nonetheless, I'll put both of these links for both of these softwares in the description below. They'll be the first two links. So if you don't have these, make sure you go download these because these are very great softwares for helping prevent viruses from getting on my PC. They do a great job. So the first one I'm going to be showing off here is CCleaner. Now guys, the key thing you want to do with both of these softwares is make sure they are both up to date at all times. As you can see, it says a new version of CCleaner is available for download would you like to visit the website and download it well obviously I want to do that because it is the latest and greatest version of this software that I do use all the time so I want to make sure that I download the most updated version of this software so as you can see once I click that it takes me to this link if I go ahead and scroll down here it does ask if I want to upgrade to see cleaner professional which I personally don't need the default regular free software has always been really good for me so I don't really need the paid version of this so I'm just gonna say no thanks right here and then uh, it'll take you to this page this just basically compares the free to the professional and then the professional bundle up to three PCs. That's basically you have to pay money for these two, which I'm just going to stick for, with the free software here. So we're just going to go ahead and scroll down. And once I get to this part of the page here, all you want to do is click the download from ccleaner.com right there. And once you click that, it'll take you to this screen. And all it does is it automatically starts downloading in this corner right here. It takes like one second to download. So you just want to open that up once it's all done. And once you do that, then it should open up as you can see. So once you open it up, it'll take you to to this screen right here and you want to make sure that you uncheck both of these things right here unless you actually do want these things uh, basically this wants you to install CCleaner browser which I personally don't want because I don't need it and this one says make CCleaner browser my default browser I don't want that either I like Google Chrome as my default browser so I just make sure to uncheck those every time I download the latest and greatest version of this software once I do that I just click install here and then it basically just installs it it takes a few seconds and boom it's all good it's on my PC I don't want to view the release notes as you can see so I'm just going to uncheck that then I go ahead and click run cleaner and yeah so now basically I have the latest and greatest version of the C cleaner software all you have to do to scan your computer is literally click analyze it's going to ask if you want to close some applications which I don't because what this actually does is if you do close these applications it basically gives your computer a little bit more thorough of a, a scan or a clean but I'm currently using these applications so I'm just going to go ahead and skip all here and that just close it just leaves those applications open while it still scans and as you can see it's currently analyzing my PC it's at 2% in the uh, past versions. It's usually taking like 30 seconds to do a scan. As you can see, it already is like done. It literally um, says nine trackers and uh, 51,000 megabytes of junk are ready to be safely removed from your PC. So that's basically just a bunch of junk that the computer literally can just get rid of because it's just taking up space. It's basically just like useless files that you don't even know are there that are just kind of taking up storage. So all you just do is click clean all and boom, it's just cleans your PC. And that usually takes a few seconds as well. And there we go. Yep, your PC is feeling fresh. There we go. And basically, I just do this about two to three times a week just to make sure my PC is um, staying clean and just doesn't have any bad files within it because what it does with those files is it literally just gets rid of them. And so anything that would have a potential virus would, would just literally be gone. So that's my first software that I use to make sure my PC is you know clean and just make sure it has no viruses on it. And this takes me to the second software that I use, which is Malware Bytes. As you can see, let's go ahead and open up this software right here. I do use both of these softwares like every two to three days to scan my PC and as you can see it says a new version of Malwarebytes is ready to be installed but for now I'm just going to say no on this it's still a great version to use it's just not as updated as the most updated version would be but nonetheless all you would do is just go to your dashboard right here and click scan now and literally a scan takes around two and a half minutes for this particular software because it goes a little bit more in depth to make sure it scans all your files and make sure there's nothing wrong and it just does a great job of making sure your PC doesn't have any bad files on it as you can see it's already scanned 150,000 items 
items in less than like 20 seconds. So it does a great job moving quickly and still very efficiently as well. The majority of the scan is spent in the scan file system and the heuristics analysis. So that's basically where the, the bulk of the time is going to uh, take for the scan. But it, like I said, it takes like two and a half minutes. And I usually, what I do is I usually use the CCleaner software first to clean out any files. And then I scan uh, with this software to just make sure that everything's all good. And I, like I said, I do that like two to three times a week. And these two softwares really do a great job of making sure my PC stays clean. Like I said, I haven't had a virus on my computer in like over a year. If I go to my reports tab right here, you can literally see all of your scan reports or all like your scan reports that you've done in the past. Uh, so as you can see, like these are just all the dates. And if I make my way over to the quarantine tab here, these are actually past viruses that I've had like in the past, obviously, that have actually been quarantined by this software. This software has picked those viruses out of my computer and put them in this section where they can't harm my computer whatsoever. So as you can see, there's a lot of these weird file names, which I don't want on my computer, but these are in the quarantine section, which can't, you know, they can't do anything to my computer in this section. And the last time I've had one of these was like in February of 2018, as you guys can see. And so, yeah, it's been like a long time. It's been literally like a year and a half since I've had a virus. And these were the only viruses. It was like one virus full, like 10 files that this software picked up and they just put it in the quarantine tab. I never had a problem since. So it really does a great job. And yeah, if I just make my way back to my scan tab here, as you can see, the scan is still going on. It's moved on to the heuristics analysis. So it should be wrapping up. Yep, there we go. So the scan time was two minutes and 43 seconds. That's about how long it takes for every scan. And it scanned over 450,000 items right there. And threats detected, it is zero. So if it does actually pick up a threat on your PC, this will obviously show. And then it will, it'll like ask, do you want to put this in quarantine, which is this section right here. And obviously you want to say yes, because when it's in quarantine, it literally cannot move out of this section. So make sure you always quarantine um, viruses that are on your computer. And like I said, every two to three days, I just use the C cleaner and then I just use this right after that. And it, it really does a great job of making sure my PC is safe at all times. And guys, these are the two softwares that I use um, on a consistent basis to make sure I protect my computer from viruses and just keep my PC running smoothly and cleanly. If this video has helped you out, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. And like I said, the download links for these two softwares will be at the top of the description below. So make sure you get these, make sure to update them as much as possible whenever they need updates, just to ensure that you have the safest, uh, best software out there. And yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I will talk to you all later. Have a fantastic, wonderful day. Keep your PC safe. And guys, with that being said, peace out.